So, as promised, I am going to try and provide a bit more of an in-depth explanation as to what FAP is from a medical standpoint. And as I was thinking about what I should try and say in this video, I realized that I should probably try and spread it out over the course of more than one video, uh, just because FAP brings a lot of baggage to the table. Uh, but I thought the best place to begin would be to look at the name FAP and see what kind of information we can get from it. So the first letter, F, uh, stands for familial, which refers to the fact that FAP is a hereditary disease, which means that it can be passed on to our biological offspring, and there's a 50% chance of us passing it on to our biological offspring. And uh, since it is hereditary, uh, what causes us to have this disease lies in our genes. And right now, there are two identified genes that are linked with FAP. And those are the APC gene and the MYH gene. However, there are a few people out there who have FAP who do not have a mutation in either of these two genes, which means that there's probably something else at play uh, that we just haven't identified yet. Uh, but since it is hereditary, if you have FAP, you're usually not the only person in your family who has it. Um, but one third of all FAP cases are thought to have arisen spontaneously, and those are called de novo mutations, uh, which I actually have a de novo mutation. So that means that uh, no one else in my family uh, has this disease except for me. Uh, but that's sort of all I wanted to say about the genetics of FAP right now, but I think I'll probably try to make another video that looks more specifically at genetics in relationship to FAP in the future. Um, but moving on to the last two letters of FAP, which are the A and the P, and they stand for adenomatous polyposis, which refer to the trademark of FAP, which is the development of anywhere between 100 to over 100,000 polyps in the colon and rectum and they usually start developing in the teenage years um, and to give you an idea um, having polyps before the age of 50 is pretty rare but uh, having over 100 polyps at any age is extremely rare uh, so that's definitely a big signature mark of FAP, and uh, these polyps have a 100% chance of turning cancerous, which means that people with FAP have a 100% chance of developing colon cancer. And uh, colon cancer is usually not screened for in the average person uh, until the age of 50, except for people who might have a history of colon cancer in their family. Uh, but People with FAP who don't treat it usually develop colon cancer. I think the average age is around 39. Uh, so not only do we have a 100% chance of developing colon cancer, um, we develop it at a younger age than the average person who would get colon cancer. Uh, and so you may be wondering uh, what the treatment is for FAP. And uh, I personally don't really like to use the word treatment for FAP, but I just can't really think of what else I should refer to it as. So if you have something else that you think is a better um, term, please let me know. Um, just because FAP can't be cured, um, there is there is no uh, real yeah there is no treatment that's going to cure FAP at this time at least. Um, but this sort of just staves off the more uh, immediate effects of FAP, and so you know the treatment. So for lack of a better word. Uh, is the, getting your colon and at times getting your rectum removed as well. Um, and again, I will provide a video that goes more specifically into the details of that process. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's sort of it um, as far as like the big defining features of FAP is you know a hundred percent chance of colon cancer. Uh, from my understanding, I think no matter whether you have the APC or the MYH gene. Uh, you, everyone who has FAP develops colon cancer, but you know the, what uh, gene mutation you have uh, impacts perhaps the other secondary problems that are caused by FAP. Um, but yeah, 
So, um, oh, and I guess there's one last thing I feel like I should probably say in this first video about FAP, because it is um, a big defining feature, it just, um, it can't be inferred specifically from the name FAP, and that is that it is an extremely rare disease. I think it's estimated that one out of every 7,000 to 24,000 people uh, have it. So if you haven't heard of it before, and again, I hadn't heard of it before uh, I was diagnosed, um, you know, don't feel bad. It, it is a pretty uncommon disease, and on top of that, it also deals with uh, a part of the body that not a lot of people like to talk about. So, yeah, uh, don't feel bad for not hearing about it. Uh, but anyway, uh, stay tuned for more videos where I'll be looking more specifically about what's involved. In treating FAP and some of the other problems that people with FAP can encounter. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first uh, sort of FAP 101 video if you would, and hopefully see you soon. <laughs>